All right. Well, um, okay. We got all the stuff done here. I'm going to put all this in the shed for now. Box and everything. Yeah. Rocky's wet food came today, so that's what the box is for. Rocky's starting to stink again. Uh, his, his bad leg is, 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 uh, is, act, is acting up, and he's he's got a bit of a smell to him again. Um, I put some of the stuff up on the pallets already for winter. Um, get things organized better. Um, I put this bungee cord across here because this has a tendency to fall down. And I did that for two reasons. If Rocky gets sniffing around here or whatever, I don't want this falling down and clocking him across his head or whatever and knocking him out or breaking his neck or something. And the other reason is because uh, if it falls down on the ground in the wintertime, it could freeze to the ground. And then it would be in my way. Plus, if I need to use the wagon for some reason... Uh, if this is frozen to the ground, that would prevent me from doing that. So I want to still have access to it if I need it. And so that's why I put it up here so it doesn't freeze to the ground. Um, anyway, I've got the, the back end of the camper all skirted in. So I've, I've accomplished that. It's just all right around here. Over to the other side here. It is. So I think the camper's pretty much done as far as the skirting in goes. We've got the wheel wells on both sides covered. I've got the front covered. I've got my skirting that I made there too. Yeah, it's all skirted in there. All right. You can see my water's frozen. I had a big plug of ice in there. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's, that's ice. That's what that is. That's ice. Okay. Anyway, here we go now. Let me toss this piece of plastic in the garbage. I put the rock on the garbage because I just put a bag in there that has food scraps and stuff in it. Um, yeah. There's what's left of Rocky's water. <laughs> Still got to finish cleaning this out. This is the... The, um... Thing that had the dead mice in it. It's full of gravel water right now. It's been sitting for a week full of gravel water. But uh, anyway, that's it. Let me turn that off. All right. You know, there's a lot of little things you have to think about um, when you're getting a place like this ready. Uh, I did have a little bit of good fortune just scrolling through Facebook a few minutes ago. I found out that they're going to have a, a claw trimming clinic at the Pet Value store in town. And so it's going to run from 9 until 1 in the afternoon. And so I'm planning tomorrow to load Rocky into the cage there and to take him into town. And we're going to get his claws trimmed because that needs to be done badly and I'm not very good at it and holding on to him while I trim his claws sometimes if I catch him in the right mood I can do it but um, <laughs> yeah even then I can't get them all done I can do a little bit at a time but that's about it just a few at a time and then he gets kind of restless but uh, yeah see little things like this you always have to think about though see right now that can't fall down it will just spring back out of that bungee cord and that's so it doesn't fall down and hit Rocky because he's short and he likes to sniff around and he's pretty nosy he's got to check everything out you know and part of his job as chief security officer here at Camp Crazy is to check everything out so I don't want him to have an on-the-job related incident where he gets clubbed, clouded across the head by an errant um, wagon handle and uh, and ends up putting in a worker's compensation claim, you know, and then has to be off work and leaves camp crazy and secured with no security here, 
well, he's off recovery and going through physiotherapy and all the rest of it, you know. Hey, Rocky. I'll turn off the light so I'm not shining it obnoxiously in his face or area. I'm going to have to sweep all this dirt up that I trailed in. Hey, you. Hi. Hello, Rocky. You're a good boy. I'm going to turn on the heat first. And then I'll get to work and sweep up all the dirt here that I trailed in from outside. Yeah, eh. Still got to put the carpets down on the floor. Got to wash the floor and put the carpets down and all that. And I got to move this and this over here. And I got to move the power bank over here. That's the other thing. Because I have this counter set up to accommodate um, this heater. I have a, a hole drilled where my hose comes up. And I have the underneath the counter I have it set up to accommodate the propane tank so yeah, yeah. I cut well you can't really see it I guess I cut that out of the bottom shelf so the propane tank can go right in there and I've got a hole you can't really see it but there it is there I made that hole in the counter and that's for the thing to go in Rocky's tapping me hey hey you anyway I'll take him in tomorrow and I'll get his claws trimmed I'm concerned about that thing on his leg, but I haven't had any luck dealing with the vet over it. The vet doesn't want to look at it unless I paid him a lot of money that I don't have. So it would likely, what well, I was told, it would cost me the better part of a thousand dollars before they'd even consider looking at it <laughs> just to get started on it. And that's without actually doing anything with it if they find out what's wrong with it, you know. So anyway, I was told hundreds of dollars and really the better part of a thousand if I wanted them to really get into that. All right, now I got to turn the gotta turn the heat the gas on here. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Oh, there we go. <coughs> yeah, we got to get a fire going, eh? So we don't freeze to death, Rocky. Because freezing to death sucks. I once talked to a guy who froze to death, and he told me that it really sucked. <laughs> I think y'all know that's a made-up story, but still, I can imagine it would. It's not the sort of thing that would be enjoyable, that's for sure. You can see chicken hats over there relaxing with her legs all stretched out. <laughs> Looks pretty funny, really. Those yellow things hanging down our legs. Um, she's kind of ugly, really, but turkey hats, her turkey hat thinks she's beautiful. Turkey hat's wildly in love with her. He is. They've had an on and off again romance going on for quite a while now. And, um, you know, there's a little bit of friction because uh, these interracial type relationships, you know, uh, the families don't approve and things like that, you know. There's always complications. But um, that causes some friction, but they work it out. They do. Hi, Rocky. They do work it out. And they're doing their best, you know. But uh, right now, Turkey Hat is in the truck and Chicken Hat's hanging around in here. And... Um, you know, they decided just to spend a little time apart. And they're still very much in love, but they just need to sort some things out, is all. And their relationship, figure out where they're going to go from here, you know, which, which is understandable. I mean, you know, the life of poetry is a complicated one. Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to turn on the heat here. Rocky's getting ready to go into the litter box. Of course, he just finished his wet food, so he's probably going to take a dump. I have to um, sweep all this crud up here that I've trailed in. And um, I got the hot water bottles in the bed already. So we're laughing. We're all set for tonight. <coughs> all right. We'll see you later. Rocky's peeing. I can hear him peeing. Okay. Take him tomorrow and get his claws trimmed.
that's that's a weight off my mind. I've been worried about that. We see you later.